Our Fox 5 I team has found an official Secretary of State voter registration app has links to Secretary of State Brian Kemp's gubernatorial campaign pages. Now, one political science professor says it raises ethical questions and should be taken down. But Kemp's campaign tells the Fox 5 I team's Dale Russell, no way, huh? No way about the ethical questions, but they have agreed to take it down. Now you can download the official Secretary of State app and find a lot of useful information. And you'll also find links to a lot of political photos, posts, and videos of Secretary of State Brian Kemp. For those of you that joined Kemp, Team Kemp along the way, I ask for you to dig deep. Secretary of State Brian Kemp asked his supporters to dig deep during his recent election night victory sounded like a good idea, so we decided to do a little digging on our own. Based on a tip, we started with the official taxpayer-funded Secretary of State webpage. Look closely. The page takes you to a new taxpayer-funded Secretary of State app, and here it is. We downloaded the app and found an easy way to search corporate records, register to vote, or even find where to vote. So all good information on this app for a Georgia voter. The app could help thousands of Georgians, including one running for governor, Brian Kemp. Look what happens when you click on the links at the bottom of the page. One is Instagram. Well, let's take a look. Hmm. This says Kemp for Governor. That's right. The taxpayer-funded app takes you to the Brian Kemp for Governor Instagram page. It's a uh, uh, advertisement for his campaign for governor. Dan Franklin is a political science professor at Georgia State University. We showed him what we found. He says he's seen a lot worse by candidates, but still. You don't want to use the public resources for, for personal gain. Another link at the bottom of the page, Brian Kemp for Governor Twitter page. Hmm. Conservative businessman fighting for Georgia. And finally, the Facebook link takes you to Brian Kemp public figure page, but it's chock full of campaign pictures and campaign videos. It's probably inappropriate, and he should probably take it down. And he is. Late today, we heard from the Kemp campaign staff. They wrote, this practice is legal and common for elected officials who value accessibility and citizen engagement. However, the links will be removed so we can focus on important issues like Stacey Abrams failing to pay her taxes. Is there an ethical issue to this at all in your mind? Yeah, I think there is. The line that is crossed is when they start uh, using their office for political purposes, and they shouldn't be doing that. So the links to the Brian Kemp campaign material will soon be a thing of the past as this hotly contested governor's race moves forward. Russ, Sine? Yeah, I mean, it seems like a public app. If, it's, if you're going to link to one campaign, you ought to link to the other. And it's particularly interesting as we talk to political, political science professor Dan Franklin, it's not only a, a candidate, an office holder in Georgia, but this is the man who's overseen all elections right, right. for the state of Georgia. So a little, even a little more scrutiny there for the Secretary of State, I think. But they're gonna, they say they're going to take it down. We'll, of course, keep an eye on it, make sure it is, and we'll keep you up to date if we need to. All right. We appreciate you keeping everybody on the straight and narrow. That's what we're here for. <laughs> Thanks, Dale.